Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. Today I'm here with Craig Bryant. Craig is a UKCC Level 4 Table Tennis Coach in England. That's the highest level table tennis coach. He is also a former junior and senior England international player. So basically, Craig is really, really good at table tennis. We're doing a little mini series where Craig is going to be showing some, more, some of the more unusual shots in table tennis. And in this video, Craig is going to be demonstrating the backhand chop block. Okay, the chop block is a great shot to try and use uh, to mix play up a little bit, to add a little bit of variety to your game. It's a great opportunity to change the pace, uh, to change the spin, and just change the dynamic of the game and the rallies in general. Uh, it's a difficult shot to execute, uh, but like anything, if you spend a bit of time trying to develop it, then it's absolutely a shot you can add into your game. So the technical elements of a chop block, the best timing is to try and take it as early as possible. It doesn't need to be a really big stroke. If you take the ball nice and early off the bounce, then you can use the pace on the ball to help create that spin and the pace back over the net. Uh, so the common errors with the, the chop block is trying to chop down the back of the ball. If you imagine there's lots of topspin coming at you, if you try and chop down the back, there's a good chance that that ball is going to pop up. So we just want to turn the racket a little bit to the side, so we're hitting a little bit more of the side of the ball, and then it's a short, sharp action here, down the side of the ball. If it's a little bit slower, you might need a bit more of a bigger action. If it's a little bit quicker, then you might use a bit more of a, a shorter action on the ball. Okay, just like when you're trying to create heavy topspin, you want a nice brush, the same applies for the chop block. A nice brush around the side will help you create that extra bit of spin. So, as I said, it's a great way to change the pace in a rally. If you're playing an opponent that is struggling against a slower pace, then it might be something you actively try uh, to use against them. Generally, I use it when someone's played a deeper ball to me and I've not been quick enough to get out from the table. So I've used that early ball that's close to me to try and execute the, the chop block because it's an easier option for me rather than trying to topspin or block because I'll be too close to the ball. Okay, so it gives me an extra option when playing my competitive matches. So now I'm going to try and return Craig's chop block. We're going to play out a few points to a few rallies where Craig does his chop block. I'm going to try and return it, see if I can return it, see if I can win any of the points. Let's see how I get on. What I found difficult playing against Craig's chop block was, well firstly the change of speed. The ball was really slowing down and that really disrupted my timing as I'm kind of waiting for this ball to come to this position, but it's not coming because it's kind of dying on the table. Um, it's also difficult because of the change of spin. 
So it was coming back to me with both backspin and side spin. So that was hard to deal with. And Craig was also able to change the depth of his chop block. Sometimes he was able to chop it really quite short. Sometimes it would come a bit deeper. So I wasn't quite sure, again, what to expect. So this chop block, from my perspective of someone facing it, it's horrible, horrible to play against. It's a great way to really disrupt your opponent, to sort of mess with their timing, mess with their rhythm. So it can be a, a very, very effective shot for, I guess, messing your opponent up. Thank you for watching and a big thank you to Craig Bryant for showing off his fantastic chop block. Um, Craig is a full-time professional table tennis coach and he runs his fantastic service um, in the UK and also internationally where he will come to your club and he'll run a group coaching session. Um, he's been to our club in Cambridge a few times um, and it's fantastic. Really high quality coaching, Craig's got loads of knowledge, really good coach, I really recommend you get Craig down to your club. If you want more information about that, go to Craig's website which is Top Edge tabletennis.co.uk or just google Craig Bryan and you'll find him. Um, okay, right, I've got more videos coming up soon so please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.